Today we're going to be sorting this out. As you can see, my hair is currently wet because I didn't want to go to the hairdressers with greasy hair. I know what you're thinking, but Grace, they wash it anyway. But I didn't want them to think I was a grease ball, so I've washed it and then they can wash it again. So today's today's video is going to be a transformation. Now we've all seen this thanks to Hayley Fam, the legend the woman the myth the legend she started this cracking trend where people transform themselves now i have just finished uni if you didn't know and i'm a bakery student so i have basically not made effort with my appearance for three years you wear a hairnet so i haven't cared what my hair looked like in fact my friend cut it in first year and it was such a bad haircut but then i just never got it changed i haven't had my hair professionally cut for about six years maybe even eight years i've always just cut it myself so she's looking a bit straggly i also have never been able to get a second hole piercing because obviously you can't wear earrings in bakeries i've already popped my hopes in and after i finished uni i popped those suckers right in because i was like i need my hopes in so i want to get a second hole i also cut my nail polish because obviously it'll get in the food so i'm going to get my nails did and i'm actually going to wear a fun little summery outfit because I've been wearing a lot of like comfort and things like that but if I can find a cute comfy little summery dress then I'm all for it because when I get to uni I change into my whites anyway like I put on you've got the big clumpy shoes you've got the trousers the apron the jacket a hairnet so you don't you're not really seen by anyone and then, and then the habit of me dressing like that has kind of followed me through and that is how I dress for the whole time now that's I'm so excited I'm gonna have a makeover guys I feel like it's gonna be like princess diaries but without a massive team it's just me me I'm not princess <laughs> but if anyways I'm your long lost granddaughter and you are a uh, prince or princess I'll happily take the responsibility. So I don't know if you can see that. It's down to my belly button. This is where my belly button is. Boop. And this is where my hair is. So I'm going to try and get it like here. Okay, guys. We're about to go to get my hair cut. I'm quite nervous. <laughs> but it's only going to be £13, which I think for a haircut is okay because... I know places where they're like £60. And to be fair, they are skilled workers, so they know what they're doing. Um, so also, <laughs> the reason I need to explain the trainer situation is because I need to get myself a pair of trainers. Now, I am very, very loyal to Converse and Van. Ooh. You didn't want to listen to my story. It's kind of rude, camera, actually. I have some good memories with Converse and Vans. Converse, um, I feel like they're Converse and Vans are on a tie. I can't pick my favourite because I love them both so dearly. And they are the only shoes that I have. Like, the only shoes, Converse and Vans. So, Converse, um, my first ever Polaroid pictures were taken when I was modelling. And I, it was the first of a casting campaign that I got. So obviously Converse have great memories for me. And then Vans, a special memory um, when I was in year nine, but don't need to go into that. As well, when I was 18, I got my, this pair actually, this exact pair that I'm wearing right now from when I was 18. I got them on my 18th birthday and I wore them to my one of my best friend's engagements on the beach and and I went to my first ever bakery work experience with these. So we've been through some good times, me, Converse and Vans, and I can't pick my favorite. However, I feel like, this is gonna sound so stupid, but when I drive in Converse and Vans, the heel of my foot hurts. Literally the most first world problem I've ever heard in my life. Grace, put your problems into perspective, please. I don't know if anyone else gets that, and I think it might be the shoe because there isn't much support in the heel. So I'm gonna try and get a pair of trainers. I'm, I've been looking at the Reebok Classic Vintage C85. So long, trainers really confuse me. The Classic Nike Air Forces. So I just need a good trainer to complete my look with my new hair. So that's why we're gonna get some new trainers. So obviously, if you watched my other vlog the other day, I got some prize winning money and I didn't spend it in London. So it's meant that actually it's worked out for the better because I didn't need any clothes. I need trainers, that's what I've decided. I'm in Primark and the hairdresser says an hour and a half wait. So I'm waiting. Um, but I tried on these trousers and they're atrocious. But atrocious. <laughs> they just, what you, but I really like the belt. They are awful, look at that. Damn it. Oh, it's quite long, but the more I see my hair in 
mirrors when I'm shopping. The more I'm like, it needs to be sorted. Guys, I'm devved, absolutely devved. So, went back to the hairdressing place and they were like, yeah, it's an hour and a half, but you have to wait like here, the hour and a half. And then even then it's not guaranteed an hour and a half. It could be like two hours or more. Oh, wait, what? I'm beginning to think I might just cut it. Risky, it's gone wrong before, but then I just want it off. I just want to, just want to snip it, snop it, you know? And then I went to find the shoes and they didn't have either of them in my size. Love them in size eight feet, love it. So went to another hairdresser near me, a bit more expensive, 35 pounds, and none, none available for the next two days. I don't think that far in advance. So you know what, I'm done. I'm done with waiting. I just want it, I just want it gone. So I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna cut it as short as I was going to because if I'm doing it, obviously it's probably not gonna be as uh, good. <laughs> So I'm gonna, I followed a tutorial on how to do it. So I'm brushing my hair through first. That's how, that's how they say to do it. And then you need to part it. So I've even got, got my mum's comb. <laughs> and I hope that's okay. Oh, that, oh my gosh, that was a really good parting. So it's time, oh no, it's going static. I actually genuinely wanted to get my hair cut by a hairdresser today, but I'm done with waiting. No more waiting. Okay. I don't think I meant to cut. Oh, look at how much hair I just cut off. I just cut this off my hair. I'm kind of sad. We've had so many good memories together. That's like a whole fringe. Can I see what I look like with a fringe? What do I look like? <laughs> you hear that hacking away? Oh, I think I've done more on this side. Damn it. There you go. That's the haircut, isn't it? <gasps> Should I do bangs? That, am I going to regret that? Oh no, why did I just do that? Why did I just do that? That was so stupid. Gosh, my hair must have been long because that's that has already had that much off. This is so stupid. Why am I why am I like this? Okay. Oh, I think I'm making it worse, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Do it on the other side so at least it's even. Ole. Oh, Hodge. Happy? Are we happy? Okay, you know what, now I've done my hair, I might just do an at-home manicure, save my pennies, and the pounds will look after themselves. Look how short the plait is now. It's time to welcome to Grace's salon. Salon? Salon. So I'm gonna actually be painting my nails myself because this has become a DIY transformation. Always a little bit different on my channel, isn't it? It's, we're not going for the, uh, you know, the ones that are like, three thousand pound transformation. No, no. We're going for budget. Ah, so we're actually going to do a full-on manicure. So right now I'm pushing down my cuticles. That's right, even pushing down my cuticles. So the colour scheme I'm going to go for, I'll put on screen right now. I saw it and I was like, that, I need that on my nails. I should do a video where I try acrylic nails, like try to do acrylic nails. Well, I think that'd be really expensive to buy everything. But with these sorts of things, anything that I buy for my YouTube channel, kind of counts as a business expense, doesn't it? Because I've got to invest in my business and there are things that I'm gonna to have to buy for it. I never normally do stuff like this. I want Grace, take that extra time to look after yourself. This color is called Peppermint, lovely. I love looking at nail polish color names. What would you, if you were a nail polish color, what would you be called? Right, so that is coat number uno. Let me do it on this hand. This is where it could get tricky. Oh, I didn't think this through, did I? Yeah, I'll go back to you once I've done my hands. Okay, let's just say maybe I should have gone to a nail technician because uh, <laughs> sometimes it's worth paying the extra money. Don't talk about my thumb because I have my exact dad's thumb. I have a female version of my dad's thumb. So it basically looks like my dad, it's got, someone's got a hammer and squished it. And my best friend has toe thumbs, which are, which is what Angelina Joe Lee has. So together we've got the weirdest thumb combo. Mine are like deep and wide and hers are short and wide. It's a weird, it's weird, but sometimes you just have to roll with it. And 
there it is. I'm gonna see tomorrow if I can get my second holes pierced. I really, really want them done. I've wanted them for literally the whole time I've been at uni, but I could never get them done. And then we'll see, we'll go from there. I'm really hoping for this video that I could do a nice outdoor segment and it would be sunny and it would be like a proper summer transformation. However, it's not stopped raining in England now. This is the sixth day of rain. The sixth day. Sad about it. But anyway, it's the Saturday now after the Friday of the first part of transformation so it is official transformation time number one nails done number two earrings got one hearing in you will notice because i had the revelation that if i suddenly get a job i won't be able to take it out so i can't really get a second hole pierce until i decide what i'm doing with my future so can't really take that one off the list number three is glossier's birthday cake lip balm which is my absolute favorite thing at the moment definitely a summer vibe so we're going to put her on get my lips all luscious and glittery and how they should be in the summer you know like nice and oh my gosh i love it so much number four is the hair are you ready i won't like it feels a lot softer now it's been cut da -da 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 -da. doesn't even okay actually no it doesn't even look that good it looks fluffy but it has been cut five is the outfit and number six is the shoes so let's put the outfit on and the shoes and then we can do our full-on uncover transformation is also mental as well because i've finished uni i literally i'm so chilled and i'm so happy and i'm so content with life as well because i finished uni i don't really have many cares in the world right now and i'm very blessed and lucky in everything my family friends uni I, I didn't need a transformation in that aspect it was just a physical transformation <laughs> hey guys welcome to summer vibes with grace this is my summer look so i'm really upset i've had this outfit for about two months it feels like i've got the dress from primark and tops from new look i haven't been able to wear it yet because it hasn't been hot enough but i really like it and i was worried it was too short but then i was like you guys always tell me not to worry about it being too short so i'm gonna run with it speaking of which i would quite like to do a video where my subscribers pick my outfits because i think you guys are always like you should have worn that you should have worn that when i think it looks really bad so follow me on Instagram because that will be coming very soon, that video. Um, I then have my new Nike Air Force Ones, courtesy of prize money, and I'm, I love them. I, <laughs> I really wanted the Reebok C85 vintage chalk, however, they didn't have them in my size anywhere. So I went with these and I'm actually, I really like these. In hindsight, it's a summer transformation, so maybe I should have put some sandals or something. I don't know. And then I've got my nails, which actually match my dress, and I didn't even, I didn't even plan that. I'm a bit sad that I couldn't get my second holes pierced, but I thought, let's be sensible. Let's not just do something for a video. No ear piercing, but all in all, I'm actually really vibing it. I off with the look. My hair could, can you just not be fluffy for one sec, for a hot minute? Let's just not be fluffy. Um, but what do you think? Are you vibing it? Ready? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do catwalk. Catwalk with Grace. Pow, 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 pow. Ready? Actually, I'm not gonna dance because I do enough dancing in my life, and that can be seen on my Instagram as well, Grace Booth ninety seven. Um, I feel like I've learned a lot doing this. Number one. Happiness comes from within, as we all know. So sometimes it's good to DIY. You don't have to buy everything. Evidently, I learned that from a hairdresser and my nails. You feel, if you look good on the outside, you feel good on the inside. It is true. I've never worn a completely new outfit. And I feel like um, back when I was about six, my mum would do like an annual shop for us and we'd get a whole new outfit. And it was the best thing. And I feel like that. I haven't done that for years. I literally feel like I want to go out and be like, look at me, everyone. What's a full new outfit? I've not done this ever. I'm so happy. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Any video suggestions, as per usual, write them down below because I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking. Granted, this video didn't turn out how I was thinking, but we just roll with it. We roll with the punches. Nothing I make normally goes how it would go in my head. I normally have a lot of setbacks on the way, like can't get a haircut, 
too expensive to get my nails done, can't find a pair of trainers, can't go with second holes. Wow, a lot went wrong, but we stay positive because that's what we do here. I'm actually loving it. Guys, I'm not even gonna lie, I can't stop with this outfit. I'm so happy with it. I don't know if people are gonna hate it, but I just literally don't wanna take it off. It's so rainy and horrible outside, but I'm just savoring every little bit of it because no one knows in England when they're gonna get the chance to wear some summer clothes again. And my nails, I'm just feeling all kinds of summer. And I'm happy, even though it's raining outside. And look at my glittery lips. Glitter. Hee <laughs> hee.